Hey guys, welcome back to Biology. This is podcast number 6.1, and this is part of the uh, the photosynthesis and respiration unit. And so today we're going to take a look at the structure of the chloroplast. And if we remember from our cells chapter, the chloroplasts are found only in plant cells. Okay, this is one of the organelles that is only in plants, the cell wall being the other one that's only in plants. But today we're going to focus on this guy called the chloroplast. And there's a few uh, different parts that we need to make mention of. Okay, and the first part of that is that this has an outer membrane or an outside membrane as well as an inner membrane. It's a double layer. Okay, so it's got an inner membrane. So this is a double layer of um, membrane, that lipid membrane, that goes around the outside of this. As we move inside of the cell, or I'm sorry, not of the cell, of the chloroplast, as we move into the chloroplast, let me change my color to blue, there's some empty space around these stacks that we see here, and this is called the stroma. Okay, that liquid that surrounds everything is called the stroma, and it flows around through, through this inner membrane. Um, these guys here in the middle, we're going to look at a single one. I'm going to use green for this. Okay, a single one of these ovals here in the middle. This is called a thylakoid. T-H-Y-L-A-K-O-I-D. And I did this in green because this holds the chlorophyll. Okay, so this is where the chlorophyll is in the 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 or in the chloroplast itself, um, the chloroplast again it, it's a a membrane bound organelle and the the chlorophyll within that is held specifically within one of these thylakoids. Okay, so each of these single stacks here or each of these single ovals holds it's just a, a bag of chlorophyll. And then the last piece we need to look at we'll do in red. If you notice that these are stacked with one another, so we're going to look at an entire stack of thylakoids and this is called a granum and this is a stack of thylakoid so a single thylakoid holds the chlorophyll a stack of thylakoids is called a granum and then the stroma flows around that and it, they are both held within the membrane okay then down here at the bottom of your notes the chloroplast again it contains the chlorophyll and the chlorophyll that is what is absorbing the light that the plant needs to carry out this process of photosynthesis so the light comes in I don't know if I have yellow, oh I do have yellow, it might be hard to see but the light comes in from the sun hits one of the thylakoid and that will begin the photosynthesis process and there's two steps to that but we're not going to worry about that too much so um, that's basically it. That's the very basic structure of a chloroplast. If you have questions, we'll be talking about it in class more.